Journey to Infinity YouTube page. We need y'all to subscribe and join the journey. Like, comment, and share. And most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So today for Lose Affirmation, I just got a shout out to the best godmother on the planet. Obviously, she's not here with us today because she's not feeling well. So everybody wish her a speedy recovery again. JJ, we here for you. Feel better. But I just want to shout you out for being the dopest, dopest godmother. I made the greatest choice in the world when I picked you as a godmother for my son. I appreciate you and I love you. You have any kind of words for her? Oh, God, my, she not my God. Oh, I'm just saying, you know she's saying? still our co-host, you know? Yeah, I just said, I didn't know who we was talking about. Oh, yeah, that's my best friend and my son's godmother. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, nah, yes, nah, JJ, you yes. Know, you know, speedy recovery, you know what I'm saying? I had to come step in for Jay, you know what I'm saying? Anything for y'all. You feel me? Get well you know soon, JJ. With that being said, welcome to O3 to Infinity Podcast. I'm your host, Lou, a.k.a. Preston and Lulu's dad, a.k.a. Mr. O. T. Today's a little different. I it got is. my brother with me. M I double L X Mills. What's up? Talk to the people. What's up, Mills? I'm in here. I'm in here like on this side of the camera. You know what I mean? I'm on this side of the camera. I'm back. I'm back on the camera. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I mean the face. Yeah, every once in a while the face pop out from behind the camera and say what up to the people. You feel Word. me? But you know how this go. How was your week? Yo, my week was was smooth. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, I'm working on something, working on something. As it gets closer to the date, yeah. you know, I let it let you, let it be known to the, you know the public and everything. We'll That's talk good. about it after, but I'm excited about it too. Um, other than that, yo, I've been doing a lot of I don't know, like just taking in information and stuff like that, watching different podcasts and everything. You know, I got a little. A little deep dive on, on, on Drake and shit. So we'll, we'll get on that when we get there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that wrong with that. Yeah. Is Information is key, brother. Yeah, son. But how about you? How was your week? Um, did I go to the doctor? Yeah, I went to the doctor. Um, yeah. I Like I said before, I think I'm like 85% there. Um, I'm going to start back PT on Saturday. So that got cleared. Um, damn, I'm trying to figure out did I do any... Mother's Day passed. And we just like um, we dropped the baby off, and we just cleaned up. I ain't even gonna hold you like we cleaned up, and then yeah. on Mother's Day I just made breakfast, nothing crazy, just like waffles and what the waffles and bacon, nothing crazy, and then like dinner I just made baked chicken. So we had like a calm, calm Mother's Day. We didn't do nothing crazy, yeah. but I just came from um, family night from my son's school, and I'm new to this still. But I don't remember my school having something like this when I was a kid. And it was really dope because, like, they played a game called Ple Fishbowl. Yeah. Where the kids read questions and then had, every kid had to answer. And then the parents read questions and they had to answer it. And it was about trying to build your relationship with your kid. Yeah. So I was like, that was really dope. I had fun. And my, my son wanted to transfer, but he had a change of heart. And I'm happy because the school's not bad. The neighborhood is a little shitty, but we in Brooklyn. A lot of these neighborhoods are shitty. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, my week just been... Dad and like baby girl, just girl dad life. Ch check the hashtag. You feel me? That's my new way. Girl dad life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the hashtag. You feel me? You feel I'm, me? I mean, what I can't say. Um, I don't know. This I think this might be the first Mother's Day that I'm not saying that that me and you know my child, my children's mother, we at war or anything, but everything was kind of smooth. You know, I said Happy Mother's Day to her, and it was cool. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So that's growth. I like that. Yeah, you know I'm growing. I like that. I like that. I like that. I I I made sure to hit up a good amount of people. I hit up a good amount of people. Say Happy Mother's Day. I didn't do like no big gesture, yeah. but if I was like, oh shit, let me make sure because I know how hard mothers work, and I always like to show love to the ladies. You know, right. remember my DM on Father's Day. But <laughs> oh, ah, cheers to O three, my word. brother. Cheers to O three. You feel me? We he could have said O seven. It was O six, O seven. We met, right? Was it O? Yeah. We just Obviously. don't talk about sex. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Chance to 07. <laughs> Chance to 07, my brother. Word. But the people them second favorite thing. The yeah. people them second favorite thing. Top three, top, top three, three, top three. three. Yeah. All right. So today's top three, you know, whenever me and Mills get on camera together, we're going to do that dad life thing. That's a fact. You feel me? So school's almost out. So today's top three is top three things we want to do with our kids this summer. Word. Would you like to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go first. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> I know you might take some of mine, so I'm going to go first. <laughs> 
I know how y'all do. I hate listen. You know what I mean? Copy. Um uh vacation with the with the boys. Okay. You know okay. What I'm saying? Family yeah. vacay. I got that on my list too. Um I wanna go to the park more. Okay. I want it to be like on schedule. Like I regardless of what we do, if it's just playing, practicing the sport, I just wanna get him outside more. That's yeah. all my goal is, yeah. Yeah, it might be the same on the same. Like, <laughs> all right. Nah, nah. Mine's, mine's number two is going to be uh, summer camp. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, you want to get, get get away from your kids, you throw them in summer camp. <laughs> you know That's mean? crazy. <laughs> My number two opposite. I want to actually try to get to know my son better. Okay. Because uh, I had like I had a lot of conversations this week, but I'll get into that another time. But yeah, I want to actually want my son to feel like he can talk to me. But I explain. But I want to like, like, get to know my son better. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You feel me? Teenage layers next year. You know, get the before the balls drop and shit. He start thinking he a man. He probably think he a man now. <laughs> nah. Yeah, maybe. Not around me. Maybe. <laughs> My boys think that they know. <laughs> 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 um, last one, um, practicing, practicing for this game mm. in the summer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Getting right, you know what I'm saying? We gotta gotta get our minds right, <laughs> you know, get our shot off. We was playing ball this week too, this weekend. Okay, okay, you know okay, saying? okay. We, we be back, we be back, we be back. We, you know, school schedule yeah. a little messed up. Um, yeah. my number one is um a road trip. A road I want trip. a road trip. I would okay. want to drive somewhere so we could sit. Like, like I said, I want to get to know him better too. I want a road trip somewhere. It could be somewhere fun, obviously, because he ain't going. We ain't going to do all that. But yeah. I want to do a road trip. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's on the list. But that's dope. we don't have nobody to vote today. No. So let the fans vote. You, you know feel I mean? me? We're yeah, going to put it up there. We're going to cut it up, chop, 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 chop it up. Yeah. And y'all let us know. Um, Whoever wins, I think it's all dope. We just get to chill with our kids more. So I'm all for it or whatever the case yeah. may be. But yeah. I elaborate a little bit. Like, I had a conversation and, like, my son is, like, face scared to talk to me. But I don't oh. get that from him because when we talk, we talk. It's certain yeah. things he don't like to talk to me about. Mm -hmm. So I want to give him... Like, I want to give him every avenue to know that he can talk to me about anything. Like, it's a judgment-free zone. I was 11 before. I was 12 before. I was a young man. I understand it may be things in your mind that yeah. may be confusing or things that you think you know and you're not a little, you're not 100% sure. That's what I'm here for. And I feel like I tell him this all the time. My pops is around, but me and my pops didn't talk like that. Yeah. So I want him to, like, talk to me. I'm like, yo, you my mans, but I, I'm your father. Don't take it too far. I mean, mid, yeah. but I'm still your pops. You feel me? I hear that. So yeah, yeah. that's hopefully, man. I mean, you know, I'm on record, you know, being a, a summer dad. You know what I'm saying? So the summertime is where I shine <laughs> as a father. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm 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 gonna win it this summer too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it. <laughs> you know what I'm Triple that with your summer dad. Get your summer dad shit up. Don't now hate. you, cause you, now you, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, you know what I'm saying? But I take the summer, you know, into into full perspective of you know doing everything with the boys so you know what i'm saying so this summer you know summer uh of 2024 it's, it's gonna be late all right we're right, looking forward to it you and feel you know, me you, you you can you can join too you yeah. know what i'm saying listen we here we can make the boys they like they drag it out with each other so hey listen yeah, they always be like oh where, where p at why yeah. when he coming through if my if, if everything goes the way i want it to it, we, we should we, we be good We be good no, Fingers crossed I'll talk about that Another time too Or maybe not Off camera But <laughs> Shit One last thing Before we get into The first topic Yo I hope this is a good sign bro Cause my algorithms Out of nowhere It started yesterday bro They started showing me People in apprenticeships In apprentice Okay Randomly Like an electrician apprenticeship Plum apprenticeship It just Popped on my algorithm And you know how long I've been trying to It never popped in my yeah. algorithm Until now And you know I'm waiting for the results and shit I hope that's a good sign TikTok I hope you're trying to tell me something I take it Be as nosy as you want If you're yeah. telling me something good So fingers crossed So I heard that, it, that's, that's dope I heard You know They, they letting dudes in So Yeah It was a lot of us there I was, it was, And I was happy to see It was a lot of black people Young yeah. black people too, especially in 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 that program. Not to like derail, but in that program, you know, a lot of you know white people. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, into yeah, that yeah, program, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying when it comes to the union. So, mm -hmm. so some dude on behind me, some dude behind me, um, some dude behind me, young man behind me. His father is in the union and talking to him and telling him. So I was like, like yes, yeah. so I was happy to see a bunch of young black men, but. Uh, 
how do we word this? Has the Civil War came to a halt? Is it a pause? And we're like, Drake, all right. So y'all know Drake versus Kendrick, biggest thing in the world yeah. after Diddy, whatever. They went at it. People have their winners. People have their losers. And now we're in the, the early stages of, I guess, the after effect of it. Yeah. So my question is, what do you think Drake next move is? Like, let's talk about Drake first. Let, like, what do you think his next play is after this whole war with Kendrick or, you know what I mean, battle with Kendrick? Um, I think even before you even go to his next move, you know, just looking at just all the people that turn their back on him, I kind of feel like Drake knew mm-hmm. that dudes didn't fuck with him for real. Mm-hmm. So like that's why, you know, they say, oh, all Drake does is take take you know take shorties from dudes. I think it's a vendetta, like, cause he knows, like, he knows that yo, oh, you don't really, don't, oh, okay, yeah, you okay. don't really, you don't really, you don't really fuck like with me. me so I'm you know take what I'm saying? Shorty. So he gonna try to do something, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's, cause you know, always, you know, ten steps ahead. So I think that's why it's probably just a plethora of different things that you know that boiled up. So I think like his next move, I definitely think he's working on something for the summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. with the pose, yeah. But I think he has to keep it, keep it low, so Kendrick don't step on it with another song. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kendrick gonna do that. Would be bullying. I don't think Kendrick gonna bully it. I think you Kendrick proved his point. But uh, yeah, that's why I, I think he's gonna work on something. A lot of people been saying like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like. It's gonna be on like some Jamaican vibes. I'm like, I don't know. Like, he might go that route, but a passion for movie. Joe and them was to like back your point up real quick. Joe and them was talking about that a little bit too. They was like, he was messing with young artists not because he wanted to, it's because he had to. Because like the OG stopped fucking with him after a while. Yeah, they was talking about that in a sense too. And I was like, when you look at it in hindsight. That kind of makes sense, but it looks different to a fan because it looked like he looking out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It looked like he always looking out, but you hear horror stories because that Bryson Tiller shit and the XXX Tesh Young shit, like you hear horror stories like that. Yeah. But what do you think? I think his next. I think like I'm to piggyback more. I think his next move is is gonna be a vibe. I don't think he gonna come out. Rapidly, rapidly. I think he gonna look for a banger and see if he could touch that number one again. Because if he drop a vibe and it don't ring off, that says a lot. Yeah. And I think that might fuck with his mental because he never been an under underdog. He never like I like people say push or beat him, but it's still debatable. Yeah. In this case, depending on what side of the fence you want, some people make it seem like Kendrick, it was a massacre to Drake. So I'm like, based on, and it's deeper than that, like, what if it like trickled down to the effect of his hit making ability? Like, now what if this really put a chink in his armor and he's not the same on the other end of this? So I think this song or whatever, it don't got to be a song. He could do a movie. I think his next play... That would be actually a good... You feel me? I think his next just play be, just got to be, yeah. like you said, thought out and saying, it don't necessarily got to be music, to be honest with you. Yeah. He could do a show. He could do a movie. He could write a book. It could be something that yeah, can still change be... Lane, change his lane. You feel me? Momentous at for his own right, and it don't necessarily got to be music. Because allegedly, Kendrick still got like 10 more in the top. Yeah. So... Well, man, he's... He's supposed to hit. He's supposed to drop an album. I don't know. Like, is so, he gonna drop it? Like, what's going on? He drop. He probably waiting for. I'm um, thinking. Remember, he a Gemini, right? He probably waiting for his birthday now. At this point, so yeah, that's yeah, late May, couple, early June. Yeah. So he might wait for that in a couple weeks. Yeah. yeah. So he yeah. might. He might look out because that was going Like, all right. Before I moved to Kendrick, who? Damn, because Drake, like you said, it people spun his back. And you feel like, like I said, because Nicki nor Lil Wayne has said anything yet. Hasn't yeah. said a fucking word, which is crazy to me. But do you think that the young people that he does work with, are they, do they have enough 
sashay to create a hit with Drake. Yeah. And you know, go to the next like go to that next level. The young people that he worked with, the same people that dissing him need them same young people. So the young people ain't affected. They might some of them might shine through this. In 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 hindsight, some of the artists that's like on the bubble of superstar them might could get it now because there's a chink in the superstar armor. Yeah, like you feel me? Like if allegedly they kicked J Cole out the big three, what would this do to um? What would this do to Drake? You know what I'm saying? Because this is not. It's different when somebody's shooting up to a fair one. Cause this is a fair one. This is the same class, same tier, depending on how you look at it. Cause some people got Kendrick higher for the lyricism, they got Drake higher for the hit making. So it depends. But it's the big three, whatever. It's the top of the pyramid shit, and they went at each other. Boom, boom, boom. So do now, like you know, when you in a gang and you want to jump a status, you fight the big homie, you beat the big homie. Now you the big homie. Now you fight the OG. Now you the OG or whatever you so forth and so. So is it similar? To that with the music shit now, like the two big homies went at it. So now is it like now Kendrick's the OG and now Drake drops the big homies that is? Like you know like what I'm you, saying? Like you said, if Drake if Drake goes movie route, which I don't think he he'll do that, but if he does do it, if he does go in that direction, that's genius to me. Cause mm-hmm. I think cause he can act. I mean yeah. Kendrick can act too, so he probably Step yeah, on his shit again. You stupid. <laughs> I honestly think I honestly think Kendrick did what he sought it out to do and more. Cause I think he got to destroy him. Yeah. He got two number ones and he got people looking at him differently. Yeah. Regardless how regardless how this come out. Some of it like I'm not even talking about the pedal shit, which he could whatever beat the charges, but yeah. so many people are coming out now, I don't know what's gonna go on. So I'm gonna leave that part alone, pausing the pedal part. But <clears throat> the the fifty fifty. I told you people been on the spectrum about Drake blackness for the longest, and now you have somebody of the elk talking about it. People, some people may not look at him the same ever again, regardless of what the hit is. You I feel mean, me? That black shit is is, is stupid to me because we didn't even make the rules of that white people did. The, <laughs> that that one two percent black you black type shit. Like we didn't even make that rule. So like. <laughs> You know what I mean? To like, you're like, yeah, you're not black. You're not like, get out of here. I think it's, I, I think it's more so just what they consider the culture. That's why, you know, they consider the culture a certain thing and they feel like he's not from the culture. That's all it is. I don't think it's like people are like, they're saying black and I don't think they literally mean black. That's why he called them a colonizer. You're not a colleague. You're a colonizer. Like, I don't think he's a colonizer. So if anybody's a colonizer, then Eminem's a colonizer. And keep it a stack. Like, Eminem catch you straight. <laughs> Listen, Eminem, Eminem was a cheat code. We're not here to talk about Eminem. Eminem was another yeah, cheat code. Yeah, he yeah. was another cheat code. So yeah, yeah. he, he, I'm not gonna get the Eminem. Eminem, sorry, but shout out M. But damn, Drake, I look forward to your next move. I, he posted the cryptic message talking about summertime vibe. Yeah. So that if that's the summertime vibe, we should be getting that song within the next few weeks. We should get it by the end of May, early June as well. So yeah. it can be set up to be a summertime vibe. Can Kendrick drop a deep album? After now, that? Yeah. Now, because of, you know, his his Crip Walk anthem now. But it's still a deep... The, 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 no, the it's, Crip Walk anthem it's, it's still a deep record. So it's like, he's still talking his shit. It's not like... It's not like a dumbed down record. He's still no, no, talking it's, it's his not, shit. It's not dumbed down. <laughs> but I think it kind of it kind of um raises the pen for people that will take a beat like that and just go crazy. Go, now, go it, crazy. It, I, so I think it, you know. I think it helps people like it helps people like J Cole, Benny the Butcher, Rap City, rap like people like that to show them Rap City. Yeah, shout out Rap City. I feel so. Got balls. It's just you feel me? So it, is, it shows that. Lyricists could go crazy on beats like that. Shout out Mustard, cause a Mustard summer, I fuck with a must. Like people talk about all of these summers, yeah. yo Mustard, yo hold on, hold on, Mustard. You had like it was like a two three summer run. Yeah, yeah. Mustard had the East Coast up in his stuff. Like I ain't gonna front. Mustard went crazy. A Mustard summer. My crazy life is still my favorite YG album. 
So I'm and not dollar sign too. You, you feel it. me? Ty dollar sign. Listen, he listen. That's yeah, my. Sorry. I wish them three had just stuck it out because them three was together. Yeah. That I, I imagine a YG and Ty dollar. Yo, YG Ty must Let's get an album, bro. That shit would be fire. Right, yeah. left, hit him with the yo, my and YG but, got that new song. You heard that shit? It's just hard. I ain't listen to it. I am a YG fan. I have to check it out though. I, I do enjoy YG music. I'm not gonna front, but he has been like hit chasing. I want him to get back to like. My crazy life or bomb. RG? Yeah. He be, he be yeah. like Big Bang. That shit he had with Cole and them. That shit he had with Nikki. Like, think about the singles he be dropping. The shit that do you're not talking about the song with Tiger. No, no, no. You like, saying just came out, I think, like two weeks ago. Okay, yeah. Nah, I think that's like, I want a project. I got to see what his project I'm going to check out a project, but nah, YG. He got a podcast too. Shout out YG. 400. Yeah, yeah shout it out. <sighs> so, b- while we still West Coast, Kendrick, we heard the albums coming, whatever. Kendrick been quiet. Yeah, he ain't been outside. He quiet, like, like no victory lab, no shit talking. He just quiet. Like, is, it, is that scary or? I don't, that's the, that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, what's his next play? Other than the album, what do you think his next play is? Because he's quiet, bro. I think the album. Oh, I, I got it. Is it going to be like a, a sneak drop, like you know, on an untitled, like yeah. a Friday boom? It just comes out, or how is it going to go? You know what I mean? I, I don't know, cause Joe, you know, I listen to Joe a lot. Joe was like, I like that re- um, not like us remix might come out. But then if you go the uh, remix route. Then that shit could live forever. Like that's that that could live for the summer. If no, it's gonna live for the summer. If the video or when the video drop, it gives it, as much as people think videos don't videos give people a longer life. Just because it's YouTube and it's not BT no more, videos yeah. help bring songs to life. So if they drop a video, then a remix, but the remix gotta be hard. You can't, you can't So you think they'll use the same beat or they probably switch it up? Like kind of keep the you know the it depends on who you throw but who you throw who can you throw on the remix to keep like that type of vibes like it ain't a lot, lot of niggas I think I think the game like but I don't know if the game I, is, the game the game because he could he could he got flows for days yeah, he he a chameleon so that's good I was only thinking schoolboy or like J Rock schoolboy yeah so you thinking you think keeping it in the B family I'm I'm saying what yeah, the remix can't to- be peace. But it's gonna like kind of keep Westside. Yeah, that's unified. what I'm saying. I don't I think I don't think the, 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 if they do a remix, it can't be no peace record. It gotta no, be no, more he, shots. Like it can't. It, got, it gotta be somebody either shooting at Drake or shooting at somebody. You can't come on there like, oh yeah, it's all love and unity. No, nigga. I mean, must have doing the beat. Kind of he picked this side. Oh yeah, he's, but he he tweeted his side. He let niggas know the West Coast is back. West Coast sticking together. The, Majority of the West Coast niggas came out and said and that. And he said, he said Gemini, like they stick together too because they both, I get it. I get but he it. was like, but the majority of the West Coast was like, yo, we sticking together. Like, that's, I, I don't think that's crazy because I don't know what Drake effect was in the West like that. Like, Drake was like that lit in the West. I know I mean, he's he a that, mega star. He had that song with, with Game. He got a song with Game. He got two songs with YG. He got and he got songs. Drake with, or the Ruler. He had a nice yeah. song with. He had, he fucked with some people out there. And he worked with Tyler, and they was in the same camp. Mm, but uh, you know, he got Tyler, boo, he got booed by um our future fans though, because they wanted Frank Ocean, not Drake. Frank Ocean, he from the West, right? Ah, uh, me, I don't know. He from the Bay? Prayers to Frank Ocean. I don't know. Why, what happened to Frank? No, I don't like the, huh? What? Oh. <laughs> yo, yo, Kendrick, I want to know what, like, Kendrick, like, shout out, yo, shout out Kendrick, shout out Drake, um, yo, shout out Cole, I always got to shout out my nigga Cole, uh, Cole, shout out Cole, that shit's still bumping, I don't, Mike Delete later, still bumping, still bumping. I hear that. I, I always forget, before we switch topic, I always forget, yo, um, shout out Chef G, welcome home. Shout out Chef. Shout out Sleepy Hollow. I'm a huge fan of y'all. Keep the music. Just stick to the music. Y'all niggas get busy. Shout y'all out. I like to see young niggas getting busy like that. 
So you feel me? Like shout y'all niggas out. I don't know y'all personally, but shout y'all out. Keep doing their music. Shout out A Boogie. His album dropped yeah, tonight. you know I can't wait, nigga. That's my nigga. Boogie. A Boogie. Um, I think they doing million dollars with the gang. Cause um Gillian Wallow was out there with um Bubba, the one of the CEOs for the label. Yeah. Taking money out of his bag, had the foreign, they was in the Bronx. It's a hybrid, so I think they doing a Boogie interview. So shout out, I might watch it. I haven't watched Million Dollars Worth of Game in forever, but yeah. Boogie, my nigga. So yeah, I can't wait, nigga. I can't wait. But you saw what he did already. Yeah, yeah. That little four pack is exalted yeah, to the yeah, album. And everything shit. is in the album. Yeah, so he was testing the four, it out. Four, all, like and got like that one Lucy. In yeah, too. so nah. Shout out Boogie always, but twenty twenty four is something in the water. I ain't talk about your festival, Usher, or Pharrell. But one of the festivals. Where? So now, you know, it ain't it ain't beef if Big Soldier not part of the beef, bro. Big Soldier <laughs> got to jump out the window and talk some shit to people. Nah, he went crazy. Mm. He, he apologized. He did yeah, go crazy. He, he, he went crazy. He went so crazy. Like. Big Soldier got upset because of an old tweet. Yeah. <laughs> an old tweet. That Metro Boomin had talking about I'm getting called the Jeezy crib and y'all over here sending beats to Soldier Boy. Yeah, yeah. And Soldier Boy talked about his mother who passed away, which you know shit like that is off limits. And it's not even that deep to talk about somebody's mother. Yeah. So Soldier Boy went on a typical Soldier Boy rant. I just laugh at his rants because when Blueface came at this nigga, this nigga said, I don't want to fight, I want to shoot you. <laughs> But Blueface said, I fucked your baby mama. Soldier Boy didn't want to fight. He wanted to shoot this nigga. Soldier Boy was talking crazy. Blueface was like, I pull up for the fade. He was like, nah, fuck a fade, nigga. Fuck a fade, nigga. But then it's okay. The way he talked, like, come on, son. He was, my son said he was smoking on old boy's mom's. Like, that. Uh, you heard 21 Savage? Wait, my fault, 21. We're going to get that. But. Yeah, because I don't even think Metro like respond, responded to him. Metro didn't really say shit back, did he? I don't know if I would too, because I'd have went ghost. Yeah, the nigga said, but then, so Soulja Boy was like, yo, you have, what, 24 hours to delete the tweet? And then my son, 21 Savage, inserted himself and said, or oh, what? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> then Soulja Boy said, I beat the fuck out of you, boy. And then... 21 Savage wrote to him and told him when I when we see you my nigga you going to shit yourself <laughs> I like nah. it just it just I think it's something in the water some people was like some people looked at 21 Savage funny for standing up for Metro Woman if that's the case then you're not a 21 Savage fan you're weird like that's he based, like damn it started with like what the fuck are we doing here? That's why he was quiet during the whole beef shit because he he cool both sides. Yeah, and yeah. if you know anything about Twenty One Savage, when it come to his people beefing, he loyal. they're gonna work it out or he's gonna try to bring peace because he brought academics and Meek together. Yeah, okay. To, to, to think so, Twenty One Savage. If you know Twenty One Savage, if you're a fan of the young man, you know that he wasn't gonna jump into beef either side because yeah. he cool on both sides. But he's so. still beefing now, right? Who? Cool. Uh, Mika and Act. Yeah, we gonna get there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna get there too. Cause so he's not good at his job. <laughs> no, it came back because of Meek yeah, yeah. came back at he came at Act about the um Act reading the lawsuit. Okay, and then Meek got back on his head top. So Meek was like Act was like fuck the truth or whatever we spoke yeah, about yeah. or whatever. So <laughs> they was cool for it. they start like whatever. Yeah. But so Twenty One Savage jumped in. Some people felt weird. I respected jumping in for your man's Metro. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got some records together, so I get it. Yeah. Oh, you feel me? And y'all came up together, y'all from the hood together, from the neighborhood, whatever the case may be. So I get that. I just like, at this point, I've been stopped believing Soldier Boy. The Chris Brown shit, when he um was saying he was fruit tied and he went to the hood and yeah. niggas like, who the fuck is you? <sighs> the blue face situation. I forgot who he was arguing with before. Hopefully, oh, soldier, don't curse me out. I don't want no smoke. But, but I feel like what is it? Is there a contract that's already written that like every time soldier boy, like soldier boy is gonna go crazy? Just don't take it to heart. Like, is there, is there some kind of like he drops music behind it? Believe it or not, we may not catch it all the time. But if you check, this nigga be dropping music behind all of this. Behind here, the, here yeah. drop, here drop. But behind when he beefing, here slip Drops out a record in. or two. 
One time when him and Bio they dropped the whole fucking project. Oh what? Yeah, like so this is kind of his angle of yeah, how to do things. To keep his name so buzzing. Like the, that's what social media uh, to me, I yeah. think it's just an angle to keep his So it's like the Kim Kardashian, the yeah, black version. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. But he don't suck dick. But yeah. Allegedly, because now yeah. some nigga coming yeah. out saying some white that, dude just came out and said Soldier was fucking him. But that's always gonna happen. That's crazy, son. Like but Jagger all right said 57 fuck soldiers. So I, listen, listen, let bleep. My poor 50. I fuck with you. Queens. But <laughs> you then, then Meek jumps in and tweets to Soldier. He's like, you know, if you threaten somebody on the internet, they see you and they do something, that's self-defense. Soldier Boy replies back to him and say, Didn't Diddy fuck you? <laughs> yo, yo, Big need to chill, son. <laughs> he shouldn't be answering nobody's tweet. Like, just keep it, just just watch it and just and let it go. Let it slide, son. Let it yo, slide. I get for a soldier, that was funny. I would pay to see Meek and Soldier go at it in the ring. No beef shit. I would I would pay to see Meek and Soldier Box. I would pay to see that. I would pay to see that fight. I would. I, I, I would pay to see that fight. I, I that wouldn't be interesting. I won't. Nah. That would I think I think I'm the way they both seem like Meek don't I'll give Meek that. He'll tweet some shit, but he don't really jump on the internet and talk. Soldier Boy would jump jump on there, roll a spliff, drink like a wild and saying Gucci had been, all that shit. Um, but Meek will I think it will be an interesting fight. I don't think they're gonna get there, but if, if it was like in a ring professional like ring fight, I would pay to see it. I don't want no street violence, none of that shit. But if like they get them cause I'm like, Meek was Meek was Soldier Boy get help. Um, please leave people mothers out of there. I hope you don't run into Twenty One Savage on camera, cause or off camera it might be worse. I, I pray mm -hmm. for peace and all of that good stuff. I mean, he did apologize, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but he, he still said so. I'm um, Twenty One Savage. I beat the fuck out of you, boy. So I don't know. Like you apologize to Metro Woman mother, yes, and I, and cool. But don't apologize and threaten a nigga in the same in the same video, bro. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's Soldier Boy. It's, it's you know it's um entertainment. So I mean, it was entertaining. That the the what the way he said to me was fucking hilarious. I'm sorry. The way he said to me was hilarious. Entertaining. Now, Meek. I guess Meek was probably like at the crib, like meditating or something, bro. And he just decided to like stick his nose in like business. So if pick a side by King Combs, yeah. Is allegedly a diss record to 50 Cent. 50 has been poking at Diddy Cool, but I don't necessarily know if he said anything about Diddy Kids. Allegedly, he said he didn't. So, whatever. Pick a side comes out, 50 gets wind of it, 50 answers it, and then Meek decides to tell, talk about 50 beefing with his own kid. Like, Meek, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I love me, but somebody literally needs to take his phone. Like King Combs said what he said. 50 replied how he replied. Let them Let's get that shit off. Yeah. King Combs has a father that's in the world as well that can back him up if need be. He got homies, whatever the case may be. You could have mind your business in this. And then now when 50 comes at you, it's funny. I'm sorry. 50's just... 50 is, I don't know if that's the person you want to start with. Yeah, because 50 don't stop. Yeah, I don't know if you, that, that's not the person you want to start with. And I just find it weird that he was so quick to butt into these two situations. But when his big homie was beefing with Drake, he was quiet. That's weird. Shit like that is weird to me. He probably traumatized. No, no. You, 50, you, you saw that video of 50? No, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about. I know, I know you don't mind, but I'm talking about Fifty now, right? Yeah. You didn't see that video when Fifty went to kill some nigga on stage and Meek was trying to hold him back. He should be traumatized that, from that. What was what, uh, that? Was Summer Jam? No, this was a smaller venue than Summer Jam. No, no, no. This was that's okay, not. This, okay. No, this is different. This is not um slow buck. It's a whole different. This is Fifty. He dat Meek, and then there's like a nigga on stage. Mm -hmm. That 50 don't want on the stage or some shit. And 50 was about to charge this nigga. And Meek had to grab this nigga. And 50, I'm like, Meek, if you didn't see what the fuck, when you grab this nigga 
You couldn't do that. And then you should be traumatized from that, nigga. Think about who you speaking to, bro. Yeah. You feel me? That's a nigga you might actually see. Meek be in New York a lot. I don't know if 50 be in New York a lot. But that's a nigga that you know because they shooting fucking yeah, power yeah, in yeah. Queens. Queens. So, yeah. like, this is the actual nigga that be outside. Like, why would you? I just don't like that. Why would you decide to button this that has absolutely nothing to do with you? Right. And then your man's who you just dropped the project with. Shout out Ross. Y'all just dropped a project, what, two, three months ago, and you quiet as a mouse. So so this was like Rwanda. This this, didn't, this is before 50 and Ross, they beefing or what you mean? Cause like Meek, isn't he always tied to Ross? Like Yeah. And so Ross, so Meek and 50, they was in the same spot. Yeah, no, this is saying? yeah, I think this is I, this is in the midst of that, but I think that's what I'm saying. 50, I don't know. He seemed like a bully, but 50 only bullies who he, he needs to bully. He don't just bully random people. It looks like from the outside I don't looking think 50 in. 50 a bully, though. Yeah, nah, he's a bully. Nah, but I feel like. <laughs> I think some niggas need, like. I don't think it's a bad thing because he if he's bullying niggas that need to be bullied, I don't yeah. think it's a bad thing. If he's bullying, he's like. A, he's more people, of a hero, then. Okay, that if you, it, if that's an angle you could turn it to, I, I I get I see where you coming from. Nah, because Fifty do a lot for for no, especially, I guess especially dudes you know out of Brooklyn and you know Bobby like he do a lot of things for like so I can't say that. No, no, listen, <laughs> I, listen, listen. I respect what you said. I understood a hundred and ten percent what you said when he could be looked at as a hero. It's like Robin Hood. He yeah. steal from the poor, give yeah. to the. He steal from the rich, give to the poor. Like Brett Favre steal from the poor, give to the rich. But whatever, yeah. Brett Favre, don't sue me. Um, I just think I'm not trying to like. I just think me. Somebody needs to take his phone and he needs to like take a break and focus on the music. Because Meek is nice I'm not going to take that from him He nice He need to like Reflect And just like Just like focus on the music Go back to that Or focus on another business venture or something Do whatever take away from the music though Like if Meek keep doing dumb shit And he's been doing dumb Like it's like Yeah It's almost like week after week Meek is going to do something stupid This nigga project sold 6,000 records in the first week So And I don't think the music was bad He need to He need to to get low It's It's part of the I, I like I came in here like episode one and said you can't sell music if they don't believe the image, bro. You know what they need? I think Kendrick needs to have like a like a like a lesson class or something on how to stay low. Cause nobody's <laughs> lower than him. And I, when he drop music, it I, do what it do. I think you only can stay low when you have real, real money. If you don't got real, real money, you can't you gotta stay be low. Out here. You gotta yeah, be you there. gotta be in your face. If you got real, real money. Or if if what you want in life is not the same as other people, you can stay low as well. Because if you got money to, like, some niggas hit a peak of money and they feel comfortable. Yeah. Like, I'm good. I got enough to last me a lifetime. I'm going to still make bread. Yeah. But I don't need to be chasing every single bag or whatever the case may be. Because, you know what I mean? Because J. Cole is low, but not K. Dot low. You right. Rihanna is somewhat low. Musically, she do fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like it's I mean, people ASAP, that want. ASAP low too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he got Rihanna, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like I feel like you only could do that in that sense. And if you're like me, because it's crazy. Like, I keep talking about him, and I'm like from the outside looking in, I saw the downfall coming because of the arrogance. Because yeah. he wasn't doing this shit he thought he had to do no more. He felt he was in the J. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake class. I'm not gonna lie. He rapped well enough, but you gotta you gotta read the room. Yeah. It's it's games to be played in a certain sense. Not saying you gotta change who you are, but you gotta know when to be who you are, where you at. Cause the story's accent, it sounds like shit that like he was an asshole to employees and this that, and the third, and that will fuck you over. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I pray for me, cause that that bunny hop conversation, that bunny hop shit. Oh damn! When he explained the bunny hop and said, "Nigga, this is, this is." Hold he had, he explained the bunny hop. Yeah, he was like, "This shit started in jail, and had real like killers doing this cause, to pay their debt or some shit like that." Like, so that's why he was doing the bunny hop. No, he was. That's not. He was doing bunny hop because he lost the tennis match. Yeah, that's why he was doing it. But he's saying it. The game originated in jail. In Philly jail. I don't know, cause listen here. I don't think 
my thing was I didn't understand it being originated in jail makes it cool. That was my whole thing. Regardless where it was, if it was originated in jail, why does that make it cool? Yo, Mick need a publicist. That's all that is. That young lady. I wish I gotta look for your Twitter. That young lady told him that. I hope she. I hope she gets hired because she's the young lady. Please tweet him again. Please, please. Uh, but whatever's in the water, people, stop drinking this yeah, shit. Yeah, man. Stop drinking this shit. Or drink alcohol. Mm, they can drink that. Uh, but we did our celebrity talk, talk, talk. Yeah. Let's switch talk it about up. switch it up. Summer's coming, guys. As you know, we have children. Yes, we do. You gave we gave y'all a nice top three. Um, what's your plans for the summer with the boys? Um, right now, it's a little up in the air. You know what I'm saying? We in between camps for them and all of that. But um, I don't know. Kind of hearing what you saying, you know, I could do a road trip. Yeah, I think a road trip might be fly. I did do a road trip. We did go to Niagara Falls. Ooh. I say, who was it? No, it wasn't last summer. Two summers ago. How was that drive with the kids? It was good. Oh, how? But long? It, it's it like I'm. I'm. I wake up in the morning. I'm like, are we doing this? And it was. <laughs> <laughs> and we did that, and now nah, it was good. Like when I went out to Niagara Falls. How long was the drive? Seven hours. Oh, well, that's not bad. I thought it was deeper than that. I forgot it's two sides to it. That's why I'm bugging. Yeah, no, nah, I think it's, it's like seven, seven. It's the seven, upstate eight side hours. and then the Canadian side, right? No, but Can- Canada's like right, mm. right across. Oh, okay, so okay. So it's okay. not like Canada's probably like like ten minutes away because that's just oh, okay. A bridge it's a bridge. Gotta, okay. Yeah. Oh, you can okay. see you can see Toronto. Oh, so from. Toronto an eight hour drive. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. we drove like as a that as a kid. Like you could, yeah, you can see Toronto. You see the um. What's that? That the tower that was that was in um oh, oh the oh, the view to oh, okay I don't know what you yeah, yeah. the views yeah you and see I, that shit I went to Toronto when I was thirteen oh what right. yeah for my um aunt's fiftieth birthday and thirteen and P is twelve yeah so you might yeah wanna, yeah might yeah, yeah I want to take him I wasn't working this year so I can't do that I want to take him because he had his passport I think we got to renew it I think his passport expired he didn't even get to go nowhere yeah. I want to take I want to take. That is not this summer. I want to take a family trip to Jamaica, but I want it to be the whole family. Pray to God one day I could get, I mean, the whole blended family. Okay. I want pray, P mom, P, my wife, my daughter. I want all of us to go out there. It could be more people than that, but I just want the core to be there. Mm-hmm. And I want everybody to experience Jamaica. Like, I want to go to a resort. I don't like going to Hoods. Yeah, I did that last year. Yeah, I want to do a resort. I want to do that. Yeah, like, like that's, I want to do a family trip. That is, it, my wife want to do that too, but I wasn't working this year, bro. So, you know, I'm, I'm I ain't trying. <laughs> just, <laughs> but now even with the summer shit, like how um, it's like I want to also I want the kids to have fun, but I also want the focus to also be on school. I want to figure out a good balance. That's like my goal this summer is to figure out a good balance because it's like we're not gonna do something. We not gonna be like active every single. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We not gonna be ah getting fucking crazy. So instead of just like lounging around the crib and stuff like that, I want to like instill a routine in my son. Like I want him to get more organized. I'm not rushing it, but just little, just little nip bitch. You like you know Black Ball Mister. You know heard I me? Mean? Mazel Tov, Mazel, Mazel Tov, Mogul Talk. You heard home? Like you gotta like you know Black yeah. China. You know what I mean? I mean his birthday passed. So that would have been no, no. I'm saying in the sense of like because Hove was like, um, my job is to teach you, and half the time I learned, I learned at 26, so I'm trying to teach you at 13. You feel me? So when I figured out, like, I got time because I didn't figure out most of my life till I was 30. So I got to 15 to give my son as much game as possible because that's half of You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that the time is to get the halfway mark. So I'm trying to get the ball rolling from now to get him because I'm like, as a kid personally, I didn't have direction, bro. If I had yeah. direction, I would have played ball. I would have like seriously took ball because I was like halfway decent. I wasn't. I was still raw before people try to challenge me. I'm not as good as I used to be. But as a kid, Jade Jade could attest to this. As a kid, I was decent. My wife could attest to this as well. As a kid, I was decent as ball. I never, ever in my life got proper coaching. So everything I learned was all raw. Brothers, um, my father-in-law today. Like, everything I learned was from people I knew. I never, like, 
ever got trained by like a professional coach or nothing like that. I never took it serious enough to do that. I used to just play a lot. Yeah. Like I play after school, I play on the weekends. I just used to hoop a lot and I never got better, but I was mm -hmm. always halfway decent. Cause when I tried out for high school, if I wasn't such a dickhead, like the coach called me cause I didn't understand it. I tell a story. I know like a million times I went to the first trial. I never tried out for a team before. It's my first time, whatever. It's my sophomore year. Yeah. Cause I got kicked out of E-Hall freshman year. <laughs> As I come in and tell people all the time, I also, I was a shy kid, anxiety, all that shit. So like crowds made me nervous or whatever, but yeah, didn't tell nobody, had to hold it down. Too cool for that. So like I went to my first tryout. I did good. I didn't know the tryout was like a week long process. So I missed the second day. The third day, some kid was like, yo, my coach was looking for you. Da, 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 da. No, the coach calls me. He's like, oh, come back. Da, da, da. Then I came back and then. I made like I kept making the cuts and not knowing. So I missed another day and the coach never called me back because he like I guess he like if you don't give a fuck, why would I give a fuck? Yeah, yeah. So I never ever had the proper like da 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 da. So I want I don't want my son to go down that same path. So like, what is the lesson, right? And the question I'm asking is, you went you you. You've been through junior high, been through high school and everything and all that. If you was to pass, like, let's say, in a week, you only had God to give you a week to live. Mm -hmm. what, is <laughs> <a le> <laughs> what is a lesson? What is a lesson that 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 you want to stick with P? Most people will try to get you to do things they're scared to do. I told I tell them that all the time. I'm like especially at this age and it continues as we get older but it starts around this age because this is when most of my men and stuff shout out the homies <laughs> you feel me <laughs> shout out yo shout out the l gang shout out the homies ml shout out all that shit shout out esta shout out bella shout out herbie shout out the whole family y'all know the vibe but <laughs> okay nah because yo no but i'm telling you by this age i wasn't like I was just a curious bad kid. We used to just do stupid shit. We wasn't gangster or nothing like that. We were just outside doing dumb shit. Yeah. Not necessarily harming people or nothing like that. I don't want people to think that. We wasn't. We do stupid shit together. You know what I mean? We run around just doing shit that technically your mother wouldn't want you doing or you wouldn't tell your mother. We wasn't even like fighting or nothing like that. Fights occurred, of course, but we was like, whatever. So as you get older and you realize like people might dare you to do something or like try to talk down on something or pretend they're too cool to do something, I learned throughout life, niggas be scared to do, do it. it. Yeah. Because so you feel me? You'll do yeah. it the first time. Now, second time coming around, this nigga still moving funny. Yeah. Like, what happened, big homie? I'm like, oh, nigga, you nervous. <laughs> you just like me, nigga. I'm trying to prove something to you because yeah, yeah. you know how to talk a little better than me. So yeah. I'm trying to prove something to you, but I'm like... Mm. You ever confronted a dude like that? Like a dude that say you did something for for, for, for a homie mm. and you realized, you know, after doing it, like it was because he was scared and you ever like confronted like, nah, yo, why you ain't do it yourself? Like, Nah, because once I figured that shit, I just started asking niggas, you do it, nigga. Like yeah. I never got to the point of like thinking, like it hit me later in life, of course, but I'm sitting here like... I'm trying to think right now. Can I think of it? It's, it's moments, but it's like it's little moments and then it's big moments, right? Because like it's like little shit. Like I had a homie, like we was like I told you, I lost my virginity at 13, and my man was scared to buy condoms. Yeah, you feel oh, so me? We, okay, so we so I'm in the that. spot buying the condoms and shit like that. And he nervous about condoms. Like it's like little shit like that. Sometimes you realize, nigga, nigga, if you don't get your own condom, you ain't, you ain't getting no ass, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? Get your old rubber. It's, it's little shit like that. Then it's like, all right, yo, you gonna take that out the store, nigga? You not brave enough to like. Yeah. It, it's like little shit. Like it go, it goes like boom, 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 and it's like, hmm, nigga, you ain't take nothing. Yeah. But you told me to take something, my nigga. Why you didn't take nothing, nigga? You soft. Da 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 da. Yeah, you get free cons at the clinic, so you know what I'm saying. This is well, before. This is before we knew about the clinic. We was 13. Going. This is when condoms was 50 cent in the corner store. If you from Brooklyn. I don't know other states. If you for Brooklyn, now I'm just trying to teach the young ones. You know oh I mean? yeah, the saying, clinic. You, know you get mean? the schools give it to you now. I think sometimes the guidance counselor got to have it for you. The social workers yeah. in your school might have it for you. So I don't know. I, 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 I preach that. I ain't but been in school. Oh, but they shouldn't have sex. You shouldn't have sex if you can't read. But that's the real advice we should get a fucking kids. If you shouldn't have sex, you can't read. If you can't read, nigga, don't have no sex. Like that ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll damn. I'm now. Nah, that's fun. 
Is there anything you realize? What would same question to you? I ain't gonna say all of that because that was wild. But same question to you, and you would have to leave some game to your boys. What would you? What would you say to them? I like that question, bro. Um, I'd have to say I think it's a lesson that I tell them all the time. Like I provided the tools, you know what I'm saying, and you do what you do what you do with them. You can choose to use them. You can choose not to use them. But if you don't use them, you get and you get in, in jammed up in some shit. Remember that you gotta get out of it yourself. You know what I'm saying. Don't look for handouts. When they do come, they come, and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. But always try to find a way out of things on your own. That's that's true. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Be as self efficient as possible. It's not wrong with getting help, but still yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, that is, know what you're not, yeah. Cause, cause I'm sitting at Preston School. I know people gonna be like this episode. It's so emotional. Whatever. <laughs> but <clears throat> sitting at Preston School and listening to the kids talk and the parents talk. Yeah. It's me, Diane, his mother's there, I'm there. She sat in the front, of course. I was like, nah, she can read the question. I'm good. I was like, listening to all the parents and the kids, and I'm like, Pete, it's not just you. Like, the things I say to you, the same, these parents are saying to they, they kids. They kids yeah. So don't feel like you, I'm targeting you, because right now, like I said, my whole thing is structure. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he 12, about to be 13. It soon come the point where it's gonna go from he thinking he a man to he feels like he a man. Mm -hmm. He already taller than his mom, so you feel me? Yeah. And I'm like, I need to, I need to mold that. Like, I know disrespect. I love his mother. I understand she does a great job, but I feel like she can't teach him how to be a man, a young man, not even a man, because I don't. I'm like, you're not a man yet. He, I need to. Mow him because I'm like, I was an 11 year old boy, I was a 12 year old boy, I went through certain things that she may have not went through, but she went through things I didn't go through neither. Let me make that clear. Yeah. But it's things that he may experience that she can't, she can't won't know him. how to tell him how to handle that per se because she never been on that end of the spectrum. She was only the the, the girl talking to the boy, never yeah. the boy talking Talk to, to the, the girl or the boy yeah. talking to the other boy in the sense of like I'm saying like the shit of niggas trying to manipulate you and get you to do things they scared to do. But yeah. from the like thing, like seeing the kids, his little friend group he had, they seem cool. They all just misguided. The technology plays a part. Some of them are like lost and some of them are not. Like they're confused like what real friendship is at this point. But that's what you're going to get from 11, 12 year olds and 13 year olds and stuff like that. Yeah. The eighth graders was moving mad mature. I was just laughing. I was like, shout them out. But they've been here for a little while. Because yeah. the, like, the, the thing is for the eighth graders to help <laughs> the sixth graders navigate their first year of junior high school. I think yeah. that's so dope. Yeah. I think like the, the school, shout out his school. I think it's so dope. Like, really think it's so dope how they did that. And I really appreciate the family. I had a good time. I'm in my dad era and shit like that. But just seeing all the kids and knowing that they all going through similar emotions. Yeah. And us as parents, we all relate that we can't penetrate it. Yeah. It's comforting. And to know that, I feel, I hopefully, I hope this brung us all closer. Like, listening to that tonight, I hope it, it brought us closer, honestly. Um, I actually had a dad. Uh, well... I hope you have a dad. <laughs> no, no, I like, no, not a dad. I had a father moment mm. um, this weekend. So this weekend, we, uh, me and my boys, we was outside, we was playing ball. You know, we on the yard, you know, in the corner yard. So, so, the, so you know, we playing, and this this kid comes um, comes to the yard, comes into the yard. He's like, he called me over. So I, you know, go over, and he's like, um, yo, his mom's not home. So I'm like. I'm looking at him. He looked like he around the boy's age. Yeah. You know, he had a football uniform on and everything. So he probably come, come came home from football, or whatever. Yeah. Mom's wasn't home. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, all right. So I'm like, what they got to do with me? So then he was like, oh, um, like he he's wondering if if he could if he could you know chill with us whatever whatever. Well, he asked me for my phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm from Brooklyn, so. <laughs> 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 uh, I know how I know how niggas get down over here. So you know I'm looking around like, all right, they trying to line me. Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I respect it. You know, so I respect it. <laughs> so you know, talk. So I'm like, all right, you seem like he was, you know, his shit was legit. So comes in the yard, give him my phone, calls his mom's up. Then his mom talked to me, Jamaican lady. So, you know, I had to shout out, had yeah, to represent because, yeah. you know, for the Jamaicans, Jamaicans out there. Jamaicans all day, you heard? You know, she was like, oh, you know, 
he has a cousin that live on the next block over. So I just have him walk over there. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, bet. So you know, I tell him like, you know, mom told you to go to your go to your, your cousin's crib. So he's like, all right. He's like, it's okay if I play ball with y'all. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I got his mom's number. So I text her. I'm like, yo, your son is safe. Like he, you know, he's just playing ball out here with my kids and everything. You know, just you know, just let you know where he at. So. You know, long story short. So he's playing ball in cleats. You know, he had cleats oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. So, so he's like, if I got shoes, if I got, you know, sandals, whatever, whatever. The boy had sandals. They ain't, they ain't wearing them. Yeah. So I gave it to him and all that. So like, I can keep it. I'm like, yeah, it's whatever. I'm like, they ain't wearing them. You know what I mean? So. Damn, the mom's fire? Or you don't know? I don't know. Like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. You so, might get the mom's, my nigga. So, <laughs> so, you know, it, you know, turn the night and everything. Uh, I think his mom came home and she called, you know, called them over. He went back over. Mom texted me. She's like, "Oh, thanks." You know what I'm saying? Uh, I thought I, I called his cousin and he wasn't over there. And then I looked at the text and it was like, "Yeah, it's like it's cool. Like anytime, whatever." So I'm guessing the next day, I, like I went out. Um, I guess he came over. His mom's came over, and I wasn't here. So you know. So then the next day, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the crib, and somebody ring the doorbell. I'm like, "Yo, who ring the doorbell?" It's the dude, it's a kid. So then he out there, I ain't answer the door. So he he out there and he's playing ball on the hoop. Cause I had the hoop, I had the hoop out. <laughs> so I'm like, this little nigga, like, come on. <laughs> so I had to I, you know, I, I opened my door, I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, Yeah, you know, just like it's your son's home. I'm like, like now nah, they not here. So then he was telling me that, you know, his mom's came over the next day, the day before. So, you know, cause he she wanted, she didn't believe that I gave yeah, him the, yeah. I gave him the sandals and everything. I'm like, oh, nah, I wasn't here. She from like, Brooklyn, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I was just like, ah. So so I told her, I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, I'm like, yo, you know, you can't just, you just can't just walk in my yard and play ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, that's trespassing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, kind of like. That's a good lesson. Teach, you got to yeah, teach. You know, yeah. I, listen, the first time I got locked up was trespassing. But continue. Yeah, just trying to, you know, thing. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, whatever, whatever. I'm like, nah, it's cool. Like yo, when we out here, you can come through and you know play play with my boys and all of that. But like this, like you can't. So he's like, all right, all right, all right. so you know he left out. So now like I'm in, I think I'm thinking about. It. I'm like, damn yo, like this kid and like you know I got word, I got you know you know got his name and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he he's same age as Jaden. So oh, like, lit, lit, lit. So I'm like, so this kid walks home like you know from wherever. And I'm like, I wouldn't even think about letting Jaden walk anywhere by himself. Listen, you know what I mean? Listen. But it's just, but then I gotta think about it. When I was his age, I was doing that. Circumstances is different for us. Yeah, same shit. Because me and Preston's mother just had a conversation, a short conversation about. She asked me if she thought he was ready for the train. I said no. Yeah. If he and I told Preston, if you don't gotta take public transportation, why the fuck are you taking it? If you are blessed enough to get dropped off and picked up with no complaints. Eat that until you have to. When you have to, we gonna. But I, in the meantime, as you progress, I got you. You gonna learn and all that shit. But when it's time, it's time. But hopefully, the moms is fire, bro. That's some solid shit. Shout you out, bro. That's some real solid shit. Yeah. I commend you on some real shit. I look out for kids, not that much, but I do look out for kids as, mu- as much as I can too. Yeah, yo. But it's like it just I, like because I'm like, damn, like now I'm now he's in my my thing now. So like. If anything happens, it's on me. So yeah, I gotta, yeah, like, gotta make sure that everything goes it's straight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Hopefully the moms is fire, bro. I ain't going for a roof for you. I roof for you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, fastest way to a single mother to a kid. Um, <laughs> yo. All right, the last topic of the night, right? I had a conversation. I'm not gonna go into details because I feel like that's a topic for another podcast that we're starting. But my question to you is, would you Go on a date with a person that you're not interested in. I don't want to say don't like the person, but you're not interested in the person per se. You may see them as a friend, I guess, but if you're not interested. Would you take a da- would you take somebody on a date that you're not interested in? That let me leave it like that. Let me not get too complicated. Um. It depends on what I'm doing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's yo, I, yo, that's crazy because it makes sense. But continue, it makes sense what you say right now. Oh, oh my boy, god! Like, like, yeah. I, I enjoy going on dates. Like, to be honest, like, so I probably would go on a date. It just it won't lead to nothing. But it just be like, hey, I'm hanging out with a with a with a 
You don't got to put like a time or a date or nothing on it. When's the last time you went on a date with a person that you knew you wasn't interested in? You was just like, hey, fuck it. I want to go out. You don't got to put a date or month. I just, you could just be like, blah, 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 whatever. When's the last time you felt you did it? <laughs> and you on camera. You on camera. <laughs> That's why you don't want to answer that shit. If you was back then, yeah, no, I was back then. <laughs> <laughs> nah. If you was on camera, bro, you would have went crazy. Yo. <laughs> nah, no comment, doggy. Like, <laughs> <Nah. laughs> yo, no comments, that's man. the crazy part. That's why. That's why I have a definition of what dates are, bro. Because I am not. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna have dinner, play, um, play bowling, watch a movie. With somebody I'm not either interested in or willing to sleep with. Like it gotta be one of the two. I yeah. if you if we and you like exchange numbers and we talking and we end up being cool, that's different. Like if we establish that it's nothing romantic, yeah, we could go out every fucking day for all I care. But if we never have that thing and we on like a weird fence, nah, I'm not going outside with you. I can't. It depends. Let me not do that. Cause what if I go out with the person and they they're, they're just a vibe and I end up liking them after that? Yeah, cause you can like them. It's not like that. Yeah, because I I think I don't. Uh, am I? Cause I'm. I feel like I feel like people look for like an instant spark, right? I think shorties do it all the time. Yeah, no, shorties are fucking assumption I, I I don't want to go into too much details because I want to save the conversation for something else. Shorties do it all the time. They go out with dudes that they ain't feeling. Yes, you are hundred and a thousand percent right because that's where I got the story from, basically. Because and I think it's cool, like as a dude, to like switch it up, like and then you do it and be like, oh, this is but, how it feels. That's a double standard. You won't be looked at the same. No, I'm not talking about looked at. I'm just talking about how I feel. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> What's going down? And be like, oh, this is how it feels. Like, when you're not really feeling And you see, like... Because I think what it do, it, it helped it help me on my game. Because, like, then I get to see signs of, like... Shit, if, I'm not, if I'm not feeling somebody, and then somebody is pushing... Putting extra on it, and you be like, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so then I look, at, I look at it in reverse and be like, all right, what do I do that... That would make a shorty uncomfortable and try to dial it back and try to be like, look at some uh, cues and be like, okay. so with me, it's all, it's all a Study mental, it. yeah, it's okay. all a game. So, you know what I'm saying? I look at the game, I look at the play and be like, all right, so if I'm not feeling shorty, how do I, how do I let it down? You know what I'm saying? Actually, it I think what, I'm wrong. I think you're right because it's not looked at the same because you still paying for the date. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not looked at the same. So you, you, have to, you have to learn to play. You might just you be. You got to learn something. Fucking up. You might just be fucking up the e ego system, not eco ego system. Cause you take a chick out, pay for everything, and then don't want her, bro. What you think you doing to her mental, bro? What am I doing to her? Yo, no, no real shit. This is a real conversation. What do you think? We we can we can talk a little bit. We can say this, but when we got Jay, so we can have a woman's perspective. But real shit now, right? Because you you you, I start, you made me think about this, right? Yeah. You take chicks out, you yeah. pay for everything, uh-huh. and then like you may like like how she do. You hit her sporadically every once in a while, like oh yo, you want to go out, whatever. Take her out, and then that's it. She might just be like, like yo, date girl. Like, you know how they be having food, nigga? She might just be date girl. Like, yo, she's a vibe. I don't like her or nothing like that, but she fun to go out with. How do you think they would handle that? How do you think they would handle that if they was like, I'm just but sometimes date it girl? Could be, it, could be, it could be mutual. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you could meet somebody and they know that that's the, what time it is. I think right now, I think I need somebody that I could just be like, yo, come, let's go make a move. And it don't be nothing. That's what you... All right, as long as you, I, I think as long as you honest, I think it's love. If if you tell a shorty that or she tell you that and y'all both be like, I respect it. Yeah. And y'all, I think, I think that should be. I'm working on that tour. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my nigga. I'm working on that conversation. That's why I like having these conversations with you. You know what I'm saying? You let me open my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here getting game from you, my nigga. What we talking about? <laughs> 
talking about. I'm over here taking notes and you talking about. I'm not kidding. You gas me up for a second. I'm like, oh, that's lit. I was about to get in the whole spill. I think I really, like I said, they in on the spectrum. Please watch it because. I think they got it down pat. Yeah. Like, if somebody trying to take you on a date and they pick a spot you don't like, tell them you don't like the spot. Or tell them you've been there a couple of times, you want to do something else. If you um somebody take you on a date and they trying to take you to a movie you saw, let them know you saw this fucking movie. If they take you to a bowling alley that remind you of your ex, let them know you don't want to go to that bowling alley. You don't have to elaborate. Because I feel like when y'all dating real shit, Y'all got to take time to get to know each other. Like, people get to know what they like about people. Like, once you physically attracted to somebody or financially attracted to somebody, you let a lot of shit slide. But the person that you're on the fence about, that you might end up knowing better, but because they may not physically fit your standards or something like that, they may get pushed to the wayside. And the person that you got this semi-spark with, you may think you're getting to know them, but... You're not because it's all surface because you're in Gaga land. Yeah. I, just do the work. Like, it's okay to go on a few dates if y'all don't like each other and make a friend. It's nothing wrong with making a friend if y'all don't work out as like guy and girl or guy and guy, girl and girl. I don't discriminate. Yeah. Or people and people. So just like, because we need to connect more, bro. Like, I feel like, all right, yo, we yeah. tried to date. It didn't work. If y'all didn't have intercourse, be friends. Intercourse, I know it makes it weird. I was, I, I like I said, I tried to be friend every ex I had, yeah. and they was like, "Nigga, what you doing?" <laughs> I was like, "Girl, it was just a little sex, a little bit sex, a little bit sex." Never killed nobody. And then your girl be like, "Why you want to be friends with?" Her? I don't want no more sex. She just, you know what I mean, she funny. She know, you know what I mean. She know a little shit from back in the day. We joke about it. that's it, that's it. But yeah. I'm an alien in that aspect. Sooner or later, people will understand that we have to work together. Like, it, it's going to come of a point where you may have slept with somebody that you might end up working with later in life with something or vice versa. Like, your wife, your husband. It, it can happen. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like it can't happen and y'all might have to be friends or whatever. Yeah. I would have to just trust you to be a stand-up person. But... Exes is okay to be friends And then the new partner is okay for exes to be friends And nothing happened But make sure it's like genuine friendship And it's not like secret bone in Like I get it It's scary But it you can be friends Like some of our exes I don't want to be friends at this point no more Because they said fuck me But at a point I, I genuinely wanted to be friends Because I still thought they was cool people bro Imani When me and Imani broke up I tried to befriend her my whole entire life She was like fuck me Sometimes she'd be my friend Sometimes she'd be my friend Sometimes she wouldn't be my friend Sometimes she'd be my friend Sometimes she wouldn't be my friend Now she's my wife So I'm good But I'm just saying you. you I, don't, I don't know if I could be friends with the exes though Why not? I mean you know Shout out the mother of my kids Um, I think they, they don't count I think they don't count Honestly, you know, they don't did, count. Right? Like an ex, though, like I don't know. Cause I get deep into a relationship with a shorty, so it's like that's even. I think that makes it even better to stay friends because you just connected on a bond so much. It's just the fact of it might hurt to see them with somebody else. That's the shit that hurts us, and I get it. I think it's two sided though. Like you know, what I'm saying, I think the reason why. I couldn't be friends or they couldn't be friends with me is because like is that yeah no that's what I'm saying both sides I'm not saying there's one person getting hurt it's gonna hurt seeing them with somebody else or seeing you with somebody else and I get that but what if like what if your ex was like I can say we was exes on some like we ain't date for that long and we was on some chill shit and it's like you're like yeah I'm just not really feeling this like we and we you know we ended on some, on that type of level then then yeah we could be friends but it's like you know, relationships. We, you know, some deep shit. No, but that's a, you know me too, bro. I don't think love die, bro. I think genuine, real love never dies, bro. Like yeah. if I loved you and I told you I loved you, I might not fuck with you no more. I might not talk to you no more, but I still love you. I, I if I, if I, if I literally love you, my nigga, or homegirls or whatever, I love you. That's not going nowhere. You could piss me off, get on my nerves, whatever. We may not even fucking speak again. Still love you. That love not going nowhere, but that's me. A lot of people think you can't love multiple people and all type of fuckery. Like, how can somebody tell you to not have emotions, my nigga? Like, yeah. how can you sit here? Imagine dating somebody 
for eight years, my nigga, y'all break up and then you think you gonna tell people I don't love that person no more. No, yeah. me and that person can't be in a relationship no more, but I still love that person. What the fuck? I look like a, a cold hearted. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you have to be like a cold hearted nigga to spend almost a decade with a person. Even if, like you said, even if you spend two years together, bro, and y'all was that in time, my nigga, yeah. and you loved each other, bro, and y'all break up, how all of a sudden you don't love her no more? Or she don't love you no more? My nigga, somebody lying, bro. But, no, nah, no, nah, I definitely understand that. I feel that, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I think that's why we can't <laughs> we can't be friends. The, the love is there, you know what I mean? Yo. So yeah, like yo, <laughs> to wrap it up, yo, I like that conversation. Shout out, to you. <laughs> shout out to our brother Bills, yo, you came to play today, bro. I respect you, my nigga. I had to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I Watching you. Jay eat every week. <laughs> <laughs> yo, go on dates, enjoy each other. If it's not romantic. Be friends. I'm I'm mm. an advocate of being friends because as black people, if you listen, if you date what you date, do your thing. I'm talking to everybody, but right. I'm I feel like to grow and think we need connections and bonds. Like, what if like your ex end up working at like like what if like like I always use this example like all right, what if we go to Spotify and you see an ex by nigga like and we gonna end up working with your ex? You can be like yo, I don't want the deal. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I think I think that much that I'm there's no hate. I think with, with my exes, isn't it? It's not like I don't hate them. I don't think we hate each other. So if that was the case, then that'd be the case. Like, oh shit, hey, what's up? It's all like we see each other, it's always gonna be love with anybody of my exes, but it's like that like every day talking to them, whatever, whatever. But that's what I'm saying. When yeah. I say friends, I always clarify, y'all don't have to speak every day. Yeah. It could be moments like like say for instance, like <sighs> I got to think of like a safe thing, like um, a song that y'all enjoy together and mm -hmm. it comes on the radio. You be like, oh shit, the song, da, da, da. Oh, you said like something yeah. like that. I don't do that. Yeah, yeah I'm macking. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Like, I just want like. If I do that, I'm, 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 I'm shooting. Why? I'm talking that's friendship. That's me. That's yo. me. That's how, that's how I move. Like, I respect it. I respect if it. If I do that, then I'm, I I'm shooting. I'm not shooting. I don't do that. But if I was to do that, I'm not shooting. It's just like, oh shit, this is a moment we had. And I, I don't do it because it, it deemed disrespectful in society that we live in. So I don't do it. Hit it with the text. And then even if she don't say nothing, I know I, I know I hit you. Now, nah, next week we got to We got to talk about that. I want to talk about that. Next week we're going to talk about that. About the holiday texts. About, no, I don't do that. You do that. I don't even get into that. I don't even get into all that. The hot, the hot do birthday, that. Christmas. When you, when you try to get the yeah. that toxic but I, shit. But that I day. do. But I do. But I, but I've done the, the, the song text where you hit him with the song text and you just let it like. Don't mm. even hit it back. But you Yo, know. Shout out Apple. But I, but I know that. I know I'm in, I'm all, I'm I'm in there. Yeah. 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 All right. Yo, go on dates. Have fun. Word. Make a friend or make a lover. Either or, I'm all for it. Just Either don't or. hate each other. You feel me? We don't. We need less hate. Yeah, you know more love, less hate. Word. So that was because we don't got no JJ's joke because she's not here. Yeah, I don't got it. I got it. No, I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about coming with a freestyle too, but right? I ain't gonna front. But I was around all that love at Preston School. It just made me happy. I was like, damn, I got to be angry to rap. <laughs> but JJ, as always. <clears throat> Get better soon. Right. Um, shout out the O3 has the JJ Hive. Shout out the supporters. We at 250 right now. It might change after this because yo, bro, I was at the crib going crazy. We hit 249, then went back to 248, then we hit yeah, 249 again, yeah. then we went back to 248. Before I got here, we were at 250. We at a 250 subscribers. That's we're gonna do up. a giveaway for the 200 for hitting 200 subscribers. So stay tuned. We just gotta work that out. JJ got sick, so yeah. we didn't get to talk about it. But we got something coming for y'all. Yeah. We got more fun coming. We working on a barbecue. I'm gonna let y'all know that. We're not gonna say when, but we're working on a barbecue. We want y'all to come out, function, we want to meet. By then, we should hopefully we should have some more merch. Cause niggas had a blast at the last event. Um yeah. shout out the homies as always. Um shout you out my hit five. Pretty, no, no, yeah, yeah. No, we come, it's coming, it's coming, bro. I feel uh, it. I feel it. Is that you might have to set that shit up a little higher? Nah, bro. nah, we don't, the, 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 right after the five, the one K is right. Uh, listen, it, it's right there. Yeah. But, um, hopefully, JJ back next week. 
Um, shit, we might have to get three chairs. My son Mills came to play today. I, yo, I really enjoyed nah, this conversation. We had bad fun today, I'm good, bro. I'm good over there. So nah, yeah, I gotta hit the button. Nah, I forgot it. He wouldn't talk shit. He wouldn't answer that question. Okay, I bet you he answered that question next week. I got it. Oh, 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 um, we got shit coming. You and I plus Y soon come. Hopefully, RLE Sports soon come and. I forgot what was your shit that we was gonna do. Yeah, um, the talk shit you want to, thirty talk. Was it thirty talk? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We it was like thirty talk. That might be a live show because yeah. we are gonna need that too since we getting yeah. subscribers. You feel me? Yeah. Um, thirty and over. You feel me? So with that, O three is stories of the past, jokes on the present, Work. and advice for the future. And just like that, that's a wrap for episode thirty five. And we thirty five too. So you, like, oh yeah, that's we think it's in line. 35, you are. You are oh three <laughs> gang 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 uh. oh shit